Fractional Distillation by kscience.com In this video, we're going to learn how fractional distillation is used to separate a mixture of different liquids which have different boiling points. Here is a mixture of three different liquids with different boiling points. The liquid with a boiling point of 50 degrees C will evaporate first, whereas the liquid with a boiling point of 100 degrees C will evaporate last. So to separate this mixture of liquids which have different boiling points, we use a separation technique called fractional distillation. Fractional distillation can be used to separate crude oil, it can be used to make alcoholic drinks, and also separating gases in the air, including oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water, and so on. To do this, air is first cooled to a liquid at around minus 200 degrees C. We're now going to focus on how fractional distillation is used to separate a mixture of liquids with different boiling points. In fractional distillation, the mixture is placed in a round bottom flask, which is heated using a Bunsen burner. The fractionating column slots perfectly into the round bottom flask so that no gases can escape. The thermometer is placed at the top of the fractionating column where the bulb is placed level with the sidearm next to the condenser. This is so the thermometer is able to accurately measure the temperature of the gas as it flows into the condenser. If the bulb of the thermometer is too low, it will measure the temperature of the hot mixture below, giving inaccurate readings. The fractionating column is filled with glass rods. These bungs make sure that no gas escapes. The condenser is securely attached to the sidearm of the fractionating column. Cool water flows in from the bottom and out at the top. A delivery tube attached to the condenser flows into the conical flask. This is the condenser and this is the conical flask. A Bunsen burner heats the mixture of liquids, which have different boiling points. These different liquids are also known as fractions, as a fraction is a liquid with the same boiling point. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the heat from the Bunsen burner causes the liquid to evaporate, where the fraction with the lowest boiling point evaporates first. The fractionating column is hottest at the bottom, where it's closest to the heat source, and coolest at the top, where it's furthest away from the heat source. When the gas with the lowest boiling point evaporates first, it rises up into the fractionating column. These gases strike the cold glass rods. They then condense and drip back down. As the fractionating column heats up, these gases then evaporate again, rising up further. Only once the fractionating column is hot enough at the top will these gases with the lower boiling point then be able to flow into the condenser. Once the fractionating column is hot enough, the lowest boiling point gas rises up. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This gas then flows into the condenser, where cold water circulating around the delivery tube causes this gas to condense from a gas into a liquid. This liquid is collected in the conical flask, where the liquid with the lowest boiling point is collected first. As the fractionating column heats up as shown by the thermometer and the liquid with the next boiling point starts to evaporate, we swap the conical flask for a new one where this gas then flows into the condenser, is condensed and is collected in the conical flask as a liquid. This process is repeated until all the different fractions have been separated from the original mixture. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow.
Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.